To win the money, you got to play the game. And remember, you win five games, you win the brand new car right there. It's time to play Family Feud. This is Joey Patone from Universal Orlando Resort in sunny Florida. And now, here's the star of our show. Give it up for Steve Hardy. Family Feud, everybody. I'm Steve Harvey. It's the Abdul Rahman family. Did I get it? Thank you. Playing against the Arondo family. All it is for a chance to win lots of cash and a brand new car right there. Let's get it on. Give me Nanika and give me Linda. Ladies, here we go. We've got the top seven answers are on the board. Name the one thing you dread about going to the doctor. Linda. Results. Results. Monika. Weight. Getting weight. <laughs> Getting weight. We're gonna play. They're gonna play, Monika. Doris, good to see you again. Thank you, Steve. Hey, name the one thing you dread about going to the doctor. Having my blood drawn. Mm. Having what the blood answer, drawn. Good answer, Doris. That was a good answer. Liza? I'm going to say getting a shot. Getting a shot. Catherine Hepburn, how are you today? I'm doing very well, thank you. Well, tell me so, something that you dread about going to the doctor. Getting undressed. Getting undressed. Good answer. Let's get naked. Yeah. <laughs> that gown. Yes. Never you fits. It's know. open. Yes. Yeah, I have fun with mine. I'm <laughs> sure you do. Put mine on in the front. <laughs> and I don't tie it. <laughs> you got to have fun with I'll it. I'll do that next time. Yeah, I'll don't, try Don't that. let it okay. be such a... Make it trying for them. them. Good good See, don't you sit there over there and go. go through the embarrassment. Embarrass them. Like Thank you. Don't put it on. Just leave it folded <laughs> next to you. Just be sitting on that tissue, just naked. <laughs> yeah. How you doing, Doc? How's everybody? Come on in. I do it all the time. Hey, you only got one strike on it. Name something that you dread about going to the doctor. Paying the copay. Paying the copay. Yeah! Linda, only one strike. Name the one thing you dread about going to the doctor. Waiting. Waiting, yeah, man. Oh, Waiting. Yeah. Doris, only one strike. The tongue depressor. They stick it down your throat? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. awful. That's the gag right, thing. Good answer, Joyce. Yeah, good answer, Joyce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good answer. Tongue depressor. Oh, my God. Liza. Liza. So good. Super cool Liza yeah. so always good. has it. One answer left, Liza. Just go ahead and give it to me. The medications. The medications. Oh. You jinxed me. No, I ain't jinxed you. I love your attitude, though. I have nothing to do with these answers. <laughs> Two strikes. If it's there, you clear the board, Captain Helper. Mm -hmm. If not, the other family's gonna steal. Your age. You've got to tell them your yes. age. Yes, can't stand that. Good answer, good answer. You've got to tell them the age. Oh. Here we go. Okay, we've got the Abdul Robin family. For the steal, here's your chance. Name the one thing you dread about going to the doctor. Filling out forms. Filling out the forms. <laughs> Number five. The smell. The smell? Where did you go, to the vet? Let's move on to question two. Give me Amina, give me Doris. Ladies, here we go. We've got the top six answers are on the board. Name something men and bears have in common. Amina. Harry. Harry. 
They are Harry. Pass or play? They're gonna play. Ali, how you doing, man? How are you? That's good. Let me tighten this up for you. What do you do, sir? Um, a high school student. I'm high school student. I'm in the 12th grade, and I'm looking forward to going to college next year. Wow. What school you want to go to? Uh, Pepperdine University in California. Pepperdine. Yep. You got to have some grades to get in Pepperdine. Oh, I got them. I got them. <laughs> I got them. I got them. 3.8 student, I got them. Go to work, boy. <laughs> oh, yeah. You could combine my senior and junior year, and I didn't have a 3.8. But I had some jokes. I feel you. Ali, good luck with you, man. Hey, name something men and bears have in common. Their aggression. Their aggression. Their aggression. Yeah, you better know it. Salima? Yes, perfect. I got it right. You got it right. All right, now, <laughs> name something men and bears have in common. Hunger. <laughs> good answer, good answer, good answer. Hunger. <laughs> Only one strength. Hi, what do you do, man? I'm a professional boxer. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I know this dude right here. I used to box. Yeah. <laughs> this, this, this is not funny anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Name something men and bears have in common. Sleep. Sleep. They sleep a lot. <laughs> Only one strike, Nanika. Uh, healthy. They're healthy. Healthy. Health. Strong They're and healthy. healthy. <laughs> we got two strikes, Amina. A Rondo family can steal. They're slow. Slow as it is. Not personal. Not personal. I'm not talking about you. You're going to sit up here and just say, we slow. <laughs> do I clap? Slow. I'm, I'm <laughs> he just... said, do, you, do we have to clap? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you do have to clap. Good answer, yeah. They're slow. <laughs> I'm just being a bear right now. Oh, a slow bear. Slow all over here. Slow, slow enough bear. for you. <laughs> really, here's your chance, Linda. What do you think it is? Name something men and bears have in common. No offense to you, their smell. Their smell. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> their smell. <laughs> Snoring. Number five. Wow. Like to. Wow. <laughs> Number six. Oh. Huggable. Oh. The goal is 300, so don't go away. We'll be right back. Hey, welcome back to Family Feud, everybody. We got a good one going. The Orondo family, 94. The Abdul Rahman's 58. Give me Ali. Give me Lisa. Let's go. Liza. 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 Liza, 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 I said Liza, but I had to pick it up. Liza you know, Minnelli. Got a lot of vowels going on over here today. Right? I got to focus, okay? Point values are doubled here, guys, so it's going to be worth a little bit more. Here we go. Top five answers are on the board. Name an animal whose stomach is always touching the ground. Ali. A lizard. A lizard. <laughs> Liza. An alligator. An alligator. You want to pass or play? Gonna play or pass. They're going to play, play, Ali. <laughs> Catherine Hepburn, name an animal whose stomach is always touching the ground. Oh my gosh, a, a, a cow. A cow? I believe it. I know. <laughs> I, the cows that I know, their the stomachs. Cows, yeah, the I know. They're very heavy. I, hey, I'm, yeah. They're All heavy. Right. We're looking Good for answer. the cows, the stomach on the ground. Oh, I got it. Come on, Anna. Anna, give me an animal whose stomach is always touching the ground. A snake. You better believe it. A me. snake. A snake. <laughs> Only one strike. Linda, name an animal whose stomach is always touching the ground. How about a rhinoceros? Good 
family. I'm trying to keep you on your toes. I don't. <laughs> Let's see if it's up there. <laughs> Doris, you got two strikes. I think a pot belly pig. Oh. A pot belly pig. It's it. It's it. It's it. Yes, it's pot it. belly pig. I, didn't, I had no faith in that one, Linda. I gotta be honest with you. I didn't see that. Well, Liza, let's go. Hi, two strikes. If it's there, you're still alive. If not, other family can steal. Panda bear. A panda bear. Good answer! Good answer! A panda bear! Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, 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 oh. Nanika, I need an answer. Okay. Name an animal whose stomach is always touching the ground. A worm. Good answer! Good answer! Worm. A worm! Let's see number four. <laughs> we'll be right back. Don't go away. Hey, welcome back to Family Feud, everybody. The Abdul Rahmans, 208. The Arondos, 94. Give me Salima. Give me Kathy. Let's go. <laughs> Here we go, folks. We have the top four answers are on the board. Name an occupation where a person carries some kind of bag on the job. Salima. A male person. A male person. <laughs> Pass or play? We're gonna play. We're gonna play. They're gonna play. Yeah, yeah, my man, boy. How you been? So what do you do again? Uh, I'm a professional boxer. Yeah, tell him what weight? Cruiserweight, yeah. two-time world champion. You Do you understand? <laughs> do you understand? Right, right. See, 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 see. Yep. Should've knew better. <laughs> Name an occupation where a person carries some kind of bag on the job. A Brinks deliverer. Brinks delivery. Uh, Only one strike. Doctor. Doctor's bad. A doctor. <laughs> Amina, what do you think it is? Name an occupation where a person carries some kind of bag on the job. A lawyer. Yeah. A lawyer. <laughs> a lawyer. <laughs> Ali. A construction worker, they wear the little construction belts that have all the pouches. A construction in worker. Uh, uh, Salima, here's the deal. You got two strikes. The Rondo family can steal and will go to sudden death. Teacher. Good answer, good answer, good answer. For the win, a teacher. Uh, a Rondo family, come on. If it's there, this. ladies, well, you steal. This. We go to sudden death. If it's not there, the other team wins the game. Name an occupation where a person carries some kind of bag on the job. An executive. An executive for the win. <laughs> Let's see number two. You were a great family. I gotta tell you, you were great. You were great. You were really, really great. Be proud of yourself. I'm telling you, you're a good family. I'm doing Robbins. Give me two people. We're gonna play fast money. Let's go. We'll be right back with the ladies. We're gonna find out if we can get this money, man. Twenty thousand dollars. Hey, welcome back to the feud, everybody. The Abdul Rahman family won the game, and it's time to play. Money. All right, before we start, we got someone we'd like to wish you luck. Nanika Salima, fast money, bring it home fast. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> 
Okay, Nanika Salima is off stage. She can't see or hear any of your answers. I'm going to ask you five questions in 20 seconds. Try to give the most popular answer. If you can't think of something, just say pass. We have enough time. We'll get back to it, okay? And then if you and Salima put together 200 points, look right there and tell everybody what you're going to win. $20,000! Yeah. Yeah. I like to we'll do, do that again. That's right there. Everybody feel that. That's money. That's money. I don't care where you from. That's, that's 20000 That's a lot of it. Okay? Mm -hmm. You ready? I'm ready. 20 seconds on the clock, please. The clock will start after I read the first question. What was the first card game you ever learned how to play? Spades. At what age is a woman most fascinating? 21. Name something you can do while talking on the phone. Pass. Name an office supply people often run out of. Pencils. Name a drink that you might stir. Martini. Name something you could do while talking on the phone. Wash dishes. What'd you say? I said wash dishes. Okay. I'm on speakerphone. Wash dishes, that's good. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Come on, Nanika. What was the first card game you ever learned how to play? You said... Sp space. <laughs> that's my game, too, but... Let's see what they say. Survey said. Oh. Yeah. Uh. At what age is a woman most fascinating? You said 21. Survey said. Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah. Right. Name something you can do while talking on the phone. You said. Wash dishes. Survey said. Wow. Wow. That's a good one. Name an office supply people often run out of. You said. Pencil survey said. Okay. Then I said, name a drink that you might stir. You surprised us all by saying, <laughs> nobody thought you was going to say martini. <laughs> survey said. All right, let's try it. We might have it. Let's go. Hey, let's clear the board. Let's bring out Salima. Salima? Yes. Okay, here's the deal. You got to put some work in. You need 150 points. Okay. But you can do it. You're very bright. I've been watching you, okay? So this <laughs> is going to work. I'm going to ask you the same five questions. You cannot duplicate the answers. If you do, you're going to hear this sound. I'll say try again, then you give me another answer. It's going to be a little bit tougher this time, so we're going to give you 25 seconds. You ready? Okay. Let's remind everyone of Nanika's answers. 25 seconds on the clock, please. Clock will start after I read the first question. What was the first card game you ever learned how to play? Spades. Okay. Poker. At what age is a woman most fascinating? 21. Try again. 30. Name something you could do while talking on the phone. Uh, driving. Name an office supply people often run out of. Paper. Name a drink that you might stir. Coffee. Wow. Yeah. You played a game. You played the game. Let's go, Salima. Yeah, she says spades, too. Okay, here we go. I said, what was the first card game you ever learned how to play? You said poker. What kid knows how to play poker? <laughs> Survey said. Wow. <laughs> Number one answer was go fish. <laughs> At what age is a woman most fascinating? You said 30. Survey said. 30 was the number one answer. To so name something you can do while talking on the phone. You said <laughs> driving. <laughs> Survey said. Oh. Number one answer was watch TV. Okay, here we go. <laughs> name an office supply people often run out of. You said paper. Survey said. Wow. Paper was the number one answer. <laughs> Name a drink that you might stir. You said coffee. 83 people. 83 people to go along 80%. with it. Coffee is the number one answer. <laughs> Survey said. <laughs> you made a comeback. You made a comeback. Well, that's five dollars a point for a total of seven hundred eighty dollars. But they're coming back right here on Family Feud, face another family. I'm Steve Harvey, everybody. We'll see you next time. It's time to play. Family Feud! This is Joey Patone from Universal Atlanta Resort in sunny Florida. And now, here's the star of our show. Give it up for Steve Harvey! All right, everybody, welcome to 
the Family Feud. I'm Steve Harvey, and we got the Abdurrahman family playing against the Klein family. All of this for a chance to win a whole lot of cash and a brand new car right there. Uh But to win, we got to play, so let's get it on. Give me Nanika, give me Adam, let's go. Okay, guys, here we go. We got the top six answers on the board. Name a way you know you're at a really cheap wedding. Adam. Buffet. It's a buffet. You? We're going to play. They're going to play. Rachel, how you doing? I'm great. How are you? You're on your way to Broadway, huh? Uh, hopefully one day. Yeah, yeah. All right, Rachel, name a way you know you had a really cheap wedding. By the decor. The decor. Yeah. What do you mean by decor? Lack of floral arrangements or the floral arrangements. Good answer. Good answer. The lack of the... What she said. Yeah. David, how you doing? I'm doing awesome. What do you do, sir? Well, I play percussion, a little banjo, and I sing. Percussion, banjo. Percussion and banjo, multi-instruments. Wow. Okay, my yeah. man, I see you. All right, cool. Well, let's go. <laughs> David, yes, name sir. a way that you know you had a really cheap wedding. Cheap dress attire. The dress attire. Good answer. Hello, Christine. How are you? Good. And what do you do, darling? Well, I'm a busy woman. I've been a stay-at-home mom for seven years, and I also joined the Hollywood Craft Mafia. (laughs) (laughs) Well, uh, since I don't really know what you mean by that, I'm I'm just going to play the game. I'm just a host. I I love the mafia. (laughs) Name a way that you know you had a really cheap wedding. No guests. (laughs) (laughs) Ain't nobody there. (laughs) Hey, Joe. Hello. How you doing, man? What do you do, sir? I'm in sales for a home improvement company. You're the only regular guy in this family. (laughs) I married in. Yeah, yeah, because everybody else pretty artsy. Uh, That's why they're on that side. All right, Joe. Name a way that you know you had a really cheap wedding. No band. No band. (laughs) No band. Well, that's only one strike, folks. That's all. Adam, what do you think? Location. The location. Location. The location. Come on. Oh, we got two strikes. Abdul Rahman family, get ready to steal. No photographer. They got no photographer. Team play! Team play! Abdul Rahman, here we go. For the steal, name a way you know you had a really cheap wedding. It's being held at the courthouse. It's being held at the courthouse. Number two. Wow. Let's move on to question two. Give me Amina, give me Rachel. Let's go. Wow. That's a first. Okay. We like each other. You like each other. That's because this girl. She's going down, but I love her. I know. She says she's going down, but I love her. Ooh, well, let's play. <laughs> hey, ladies, we got the top six answers on the board. Name something that can be lumpy. Amina? Mashed potatoes. <laughs> Mashed potatoes. <laughs> Pass the play. play. They're gonna play. <laughs> Ali, my Ali. man, what you <laughs> say, baby? High school student on your way to Pepperdine College. That's major. You've got to have a nice GPA, which is? 3.8. Woo! I have never, never seen a three nothing. <laughs> if I got in the twos, my daddy threw a party at the house. <laughs> Ali, name something that can be lumpy. A frog. A, a frog. A frog. A frog. <laughs> 
Happy Boyd Sprawls number. Boy, boy, uh, don't don't try to make that a good answer now. <laughs> Salima, yes. name something that can be lumpy. A bed. A bed. Yeah, yeah. What's up, man? You got it. Cruiserweight champ two times. Yeah, he's cruiserweight champ twice. World champ. <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> So let's just hope he gets all his answers right and it won't be a problem today. <laughs> Great. Hey, name something that can be lumpy. Grits. Grits. <laughs> Nanika, you've only got one strike. Name something that can be lumpy. Oatmeal. Yeah. Oatmeal. <laughs> only one strike. Amina, name something that can be lumpy. Pillow. Yeah. Yeah. A pillow. Back to you, buddy. Only one answer left. Um, your face? Um, yeah. Agony, yeah. Agony, yeah. Agony, your face? Yeah. You, you weren't doing that to him, were you? No, that was a good answer. Good answer. Yeah. Your face, lumpy face. <laughs> Look, bro, lumpy face. That's what I thought. It's cool for you. Salima, here's the deal. You got two strikes. Klein family, get ready to steal. A blanket? A blanket. <laughs> a blanket. <laughs> Blind uh, family, here we go. Here's your chance. Name something that can be lumpy. Cottage cheese. Cottage cheese for the steel. <laughs> Number five. Klein family not on the board. No fear, though. The goal is 300 points. Don't go away. We'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome back to Family Feud, everybody. The Abdul Rahman family, 120. Klein family not on the board. Still anybody's game. Give me Ali. Give me David. Let's go. <laughs> Fellas, point values have doubled here, so it's going to be worth a little bit more. Top six answers are on the board. Name a word or phrase that starts with hang. <laughs> Ali. Hang time. Hang time, baby. In the air, floating. <laughs> David, what are you doing? Hang man. Hang man. <laughs> Pass or play? Okay. We're gonna play. We're gonna play. That was a good answer, man. Christine, name a word or phrase that starts with hang. Hang 10. Hang 10. Yeah. Joe, give me a word or phrase that starts with hang. Hang loose. <laughs> hang loose. <laughs> Adam, give me a word or phrase that starts with hang. Hang over. <laughs> right up your alley, I can tell. He was just chomping at the bits. Ask me. <laughs> ask me. <laughs> Hang over. <laughs> Only one strike, Rachel. I got it. What is it? Hanger. 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 Well, we got two strikes, David. If it's there, you're still alive. If it's not there, the Abdul Rahman family get ready to steal. When I get this right, we're going to still hang out. You're going to hang answer. out. Hang out! Still got two answers on the board there, Christine, but you got two strikes. If it's there, you're still alive. Oh, baby, if not, the other family can steal. Hanging around? Yeah. Hanging around. Oh. Hang out. Hang out. Abdul Rahman family, here we go. Give me a word or phrase that starts with hang. Hang up. Number six. Ah! I'll do one. Uh, it's 226. Klein's not on the board, but it's still anybody's game, so don't go away. We'll be right back. Hey, welcome back to 
Family Feud, everybody. The Abdul Rahman's 226. The Klein family not on the board. Give me Salima. Give me Christine. Let's go. The nicest people here. Point values have tripled. That means someone could win it on this one right here. Top four answers are on the board. Name something kids dare each other to eat. Salima. Bugs. Bugs. <laughs> They're gonna play. Point values are triple, y'all, y'all, so let's just get to it. Name something kids dare each other to eat. Dirt. Dirt. <laughs> Bet you won't eat that dirt. Nanika, no strikes. Name something kids dare each other to eat. Boogers. Yeah! <laughs> Let's see if it's up there. I hate saying that. Though. <laughs> Only one answer left. No strikes. Amina. Toys. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. <laughs> <laughs> Toys. <laughs> This ought to be right up your alley here, man. Ah, uh, don't scratch your head. Come on, man. <laughs> if it's there, you win. If it's not there, you're still alive. Name something kids dare each other to eat. Uh, toenails? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to Pepperdine. Don't worry. <laughs> Got a great sharp mind. You're going you're to be great. What are you going to major in? Uh, either accounting or uh, business finance. Yeah, see, that's great, right? Business finance, accounting. Nobody's going to ask you anything like this. <laughs> You'll be fine. Let's go. Let's go. Toenails. <laughs> Salima, two strikes. If it's there, you win. Paste. Paste. Get it. For the win, paste. Here it is, folks. If it's there, you steal. We go to sudden death. If it's not there, the Abdul Rahman family wins the game. Name something kids dare each other to eat. Paper. 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 I don't have kids. I, I have no idea. I have no, I'm going to be honest with you. I have no idea. Paper. Number three. Oh my God. I heard it. I heard you say vegetables, man. God, oh, man, you were right there. I would have loved to have seen it. Hey, I'm Drew Robbins. Two people play fast money. Let's go. We got Yaya, we got Salima. They're going for 20,000 right after this. Hey, welcome back to The Feud, everybody. The Abdul Rahman family won the game, and now it's time to play. You better know it. Yaya, somebody over here wants to wish you luck. Hi, this is Karen. And Kevin. And Kai. Wishing the Abdul Rahman family all the luck in winning at 20,000. Yaya, Salima's off stage. She can't see or hear any of your answers. I'm going to ask you five questions in 20 seconds. Try to give me the most popular answer. If you can't think of something, just say pass. If we have enough time, we'll get back to it. Then, if you and Salima put it together for 200 points, look right there at that red light. Tell everybody what you're going to win. $20,000! <laughs> $1,000! And you gotta roll your mouth. Thousand dollars. <laughs> That's money there. All right, you ready, man? Yes, sir. 20 seconds on the clock, please. Clock will start after I read the first question. Turn to the front there. All right, here we go. Name something with which you might accidentally poke yourself in the eye. Hanger. Name an, ex name an exercise you haven't done in years. Run. On a scale of one to 10, how good are you at saving money? Terrible. Two. Name a food that's greasy. Chicken wings. Name an occasion when a husband should send his wife flowers. Her birthday. Okay. All right, let's go, man. Come on, y'all. Let's go, man. Let's see what we do. 
I said, name something with which you might accidentally poke yourself in the eye, you said. A hanger, survey said. I said, name an exercise you haven't done in a while. You're in shape, you didn't know what to say. <laughs> you exercise all the time. You said. Survey said. Eight. On a scale of one to 10, how good are you at saving money? You said. Two, survey said. Uh huh. Name a food that's greasy. You said. Chicken wings, survey said. That's a good one. Then I said, name an occasion when a husband should send his wife flowers. You said, her birthday, you better. Survey said, 2457. She got to put in some work, man. Let's clear the board, bring out Salima. We got to put in some work. Slow down, you just had the baby. Mama can't go sliding all off the stage and stuff now. Knocking all these people's teeth out on the front row and everything. You don't want to do it, slow down. We just had the baby now. Okay, your husband got 57 points. Okay. That's okay. <laughs> hey, you married him. Hey, don't worry about it. It's okay. <laughs> all you need is 143 points to win. That's all. But you can do it, though. You're a great player. I'm going to ask you the same five questions. You cannot duplicate the answers. If you do, you're going to hear this sound. I'm going to say try again. You give me another answer. It's going to be a little bit tougher this time, Salima, so we're going to give you 25 seconds. You ready? I am. All right, let's remind everyone of Yaya's answers. 25 seconds on the clock, please. Clock will start after I read the first question. Name something with which you might accidentally poke yourself in the eye. A pen. Name an exercise you haven't done in years. Jumping jacks. On a scale of one to 10, how good are you at saving money? Six. Name a food that's greasy. Chicken. Fried Try again. French fries. Name an occasion when a husband should send his wife flowers. Valentine's Day. Okay. Come on, girl, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> you play well. Name something with which you might accidentally <laughs> poke yourself in the eye. You see what your husband I'm sorry, I'm having a moment. What is he doing? <laughs> uh, you said. Pen survey said. <laughs> Pencil and pen was the number one answer. <laughs> Name an exercise you haven't done in years. You said jumping jacks. Wow. Survey said. That was a good answer. Number one answer, push-ups. On a scale of one to ten, how good are you at saving money? You said. Six, survey said. Uh-huh. Number one answer was five. Name a food that's greasy. You said, tell me. French fries, survey said. Uh-huh. French fries was the number one answer. You got it, baby. You bailed me out. Then I said, you need 50 points. Name an occasion when a husband should send his wife flowers. If I hold you, you close, that's what they do on TV. Okay, I'm cool. I'm going with you. Let's try to make it happen. Is this cool with Yaya? That's what I really need to know right <laughs> it's okay. If it gives us $20,000. Right, if I give you $20,000, he'll let you hug me harder. Okay. <laughs> Name an occasion when a husband should send his wife flowers. You said? Valentine's Day survey said. would have been number one answer was anniversary. Anniversary. $5 a point. $895. But they're coming back to face another family on the field. I'm Steve Harvey. We'll see you next time, folks. It's time to play Family Feud. This is Joey Patone from Universal Atlanta Resort in sunny Florida. And now, here's the star of our show. Give it up for Steve Harvey. Family Feud, everybody. I'm Steve Harvey. It's the Abdul Rahman family playing against the Spiegel family. All of this for a chance to win a whole lot of cash and a brand new car. You ready to play Feud, everybody?
everybody. Give me Nanika, give me Janice, let's go. <laughs> Ladies, we got the top six answers on the board. Name something a person might say is in the toilet. Nanika. Their mouth. Their mouth. <laughs> Janice? How about their pay? How about what? Poop. What is in the toilet? It is in the toilet. You think it's in there? <laughs> it better be. I bet it is. Better not be on the floor. <laughs> I tell you what. Let's see if it's up there. <laughs> you gotta pass the play, Janet. We're gonna pass it. Oh God, no. <laughs> I want to play with y'all. <laughs> you have no idea. <laughs> I wanted to hear the rest of them talk. <laughs> okay, Abdurrahman family, let's go. Amina, name something a person might say is in the toilet. The stock market. The <laughs> stock market. Great answer. Ali, you're a young guy on your way to Pepperdine, 18 years old, 3.8. 16, 16. So you're 16. 16. Wow. You're going to college early. Yeah. We all did, actually. Okay. All of you went to... Oh, all of them. At 16. <laughs> These two went at the 16, I'm being one at 17. All of them. <laughs> I was uh, doing some other things. Wow, that's amazing. Well, name something a person might say is in the toilet. Uh, tissue. Tissue is in the... Well, tissue. <laughs> Salima, how you doing today? Well, name something a person might say is in the toilet. Their grades. Their grades are in the toilet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we got two strikes already, man. If it's there, you're still alive. If it's not there, Spiegel family can still... Name something a person might say is in the toilet. Their accent. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. Good answer. Yeah, I, I saw the Spiegel family. Damn, That's what came to mind. It's the doing. Damn. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Cruiserweight <laughs> champion of the world twice. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Sasha, you don't want to start this. Their accents. Okay, okay, here we go. Name something a person might say is in the toilet. We're gonna go with career. Career, the job. Career has three syllables now. Snoop. We're going to go with career! <laughs> Number three. This is so good. I don't even care. Number five, this is so good. Number six. Hey, let's move on to question two. Give me Amina, give me Ron. Folks, here we go. Top seven answers on the board. Name an occupation where a man can work with his shirt off. Armino. Construction worker. Construction worker. <laughs> Pass the play. We're going to play, dear. They're going to play with <laughs> Ali, come on, man. Name an occupation where a man can work with his shirt off. Personal trainer. Good answer. Personal <laughs> trainer. <laughs> Salima, name an occupation where a man can work in the show. A lifeguard. The lifeguard. Yeah, yeah, only one strike, man. Name an occupation where a man can work with his shirt off. A boxer? <laughs> yeah! A boxer! Nanika, you only got one strike. What do you think it is? An actor. An actor!
Amina, name an occupation where a man can work with his shirt off. Teacher. Good answer. Okay. Good answer. Good answer. Oh, good answer. No, it's not. No, it's not. That's a, that's, 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 that's a lawsuit. <laughs> Teacher. Oh. You got two strikes. People, family, get ready to steal. Uh, three seconds. <laughs> 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 Okay, here we go. Here's your chance. Name an occupation where a man can work with his shirt off. Stripper. Okay, we're gonna say stripper. Yeah. <laughs> a stripper. <laughs> Number four. <laughs> Number six. Well, the goal is 300 points, so don't go away. We'll be right back. Hey, welcome back to Family Feud, everybody. The Spiegel's 106. Bob yeah. is not on the board. Yeah. Give me Ali, give me Gio. Let's go. <laughs> Folks, here we go. Point values of doubles. The top six answers are on the board. Name something people are sure to notice if you forget to do it in the morning. Ali. Shower. Shower. Yeah. I'm gonna say, put your makeup on. Put your makeup on. You control it, Ali. We're gonna play, we're gonna play. They're gonna play. Good job, man, you got you there. Sal <laughs> Salima? <laughs> Uh, name something people are sure to notice if you forget to do it in the morning. Brush your teeth. You forget to brush your teeth. Brush your teeth. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Give me something people sure to notice if you forget to do it in the morning. Iron your clothes. Iron your clothes. <laughs> Nanika, yeah. give me something people are sure to notice if you forget to do it in the morning. Change out of your pajamas and put on clothes. Change out of your pajamas and put on your clothes. Yeah. <laughs> Only one strike, Amina. Shave. Yep. Shave. <laughs> Good answer. I'll leave back on you, man. Only one strike. Your hair. Fix your hair. Get, hair. Right, Get to fix your hair. <laughs> Look at you, boy. It's two. That's two in the same room. I knew you could All do right. it. <laughs> Salima. If you forget to exercise. <laughs> <laughs> exercise. <laughs> we got two strikes, only one answer left. Yah, yah. Spiegel family, get ready to steal. Put on your watch. Good answer. Good answer. He's cruiserweight champ two times, you know? <laughs> I think it's a great answer. Spiegel family? Yes, sir. <laughs> uh, I'm so nervous. That had a bunch of syllables in it. <laughs> I love you. I love you, Thank Janet. you so much. Thank you so much. I love you back. Oh, Name gosh. something people are sure to notice if you forget to do it in the morning. If you forget to put on your deodorant. Yeah! yeah! If you forget to put on your deodorant. <laughs> Number five. Wow, this is anybody's game. We'll find out when we come back, so don't go away, folks. Well, welcome back to Family Feud, everybody. We got a good one going. The Abdul Rahman's 182 Spiegel's. 106, give me Salima, give me Lori, let's go.
We've got the top four answers on the board. Name something about a person that would make you give up your seat. They're elderly. They're elderly. Pass or play. They're gonna play. This is for the game, y'all. Y'all, let's go. Name something about a person that would make you give up your seat on a bus. They're handicapped. Good answer. They're handicapped. Nanika, name something about a person that would make you give up your seat on the bus. She, they're pregnant. They are pregnant. <laughs> Only one answer left. No strikes. Amina? They're holding a lot of stuff. Good answer. Good answer. They're Good holding answer. a lot of stuff. <laughs> Ali, name something about a person that would make you give up your seat on a bus. A child? Good answer. Good answer. A child? Well, we got two strikes. They're tired. They're tired. They are tired. Spiegel. Janice, let me lay it out for you. If it's there, you steal, you win. If it's not there, the Abdul Rahmans win the game. Okay, here we go. Name something about a person that would make you give up your seat on a bus. Uh, nothing. Good answer. Good answer. Woo! Woo! Thank you for nothing, baby. That's how we got it. This is just for me. What did you say? Nothing. <laughs> Not a thing. There you go. <laughs> I don't know if it's up there, sweetheart, but I got to tell you. Okay. You are one of my favorite players ever. I love your spirit and even more than that, I love your voice. Okay. Give it to Poet. Give it to Poet. For the win, nothing. (laughs) Number four. I gotta tell you, man. Boy, I love a boy. God, I love that lady. Hey, Roddy Robbins, let's go. I need two people to play fast money. We'll be right back. The ladies are going for the cash right after this. They might have the right two right here. Welcome back to the feud, everybody. The Abdul Rahman family won the game, and it's time to play. Hey, before we start, someone wants to wish you luck. Hi, this is Karen. And Kevin. And Kai. Wishing the Abdul Rahman family all the luck in winning that 20000 <laughs> Amina, Salima's off stage. She can't see or hear any of your answers. I'm going to ask you five questions in 20 seconds. Try to give me the most popular answer. If you can't think of something, just say pass. If we have enough time left, we'll come back to it. And then if you and Salima put it together, Come up with 200 points. Look right there. Tell everybody what you win. $20,000! Yes. Yes. Okay, you ready? Yes. 20 seconds on the clock, please. The clock will start after I read the first question. We ask 100 married men, how many times today did you tell your wife you loved her? One. Name something babies love to throw. Tantrum. Name something you'd see at a rodeo. Horse. Name something people eat at a barbecue. Chicken. Name something people wash with a sponge. Dishes. Wow. (laughs) Wow. Let's do it. Let's go. Here we go. We asked 100 married men, how many times today did you tell your wife you loved her? You said? Once. Survey said? I said, name something babies love to throw. You said, tantrums. Survey said, 
right. I said, name something you see at a rodeo. You said? Horse. Survey said? Wow. I said, name something people eat at a barbecue. You said? Chicken. Survey said? Wow. I said, name something people wash with a sponge. You said? Dishes. Survey said? Easy. You keep running out here. You just had the baby, I but do. hey, don't run. Okay. Guess what Amina did? She gave you 137 points. <laughs> you need 63 points, <laughs> and you're gonna win $20,000. You can do this. Stay focused, calm down, relax. I'm gonna ask you the same five questions. <sighs> you cannot duplicate the answers. If you do, you're gonna hear this sound. <laughs> I'm gonna say try again. You're gonna give me another answer. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be tougher this time, so we're gonna give you 25 seconds, okay? Are okay. you ready? I'm ready. All right, let's remind everyone of Amina's answers. 25 seconds on the clock, please. Clock will start after I read the first question. We asked 100 married men, how many times today did you tell your wife you loved her? One. Try again. None. Name something babies love to throw. Pacifier. Name something you'd see at a rodeo. A bull. Name something people eat at a barbecue. Barbecue chicken. Try again. Potato salad. Name something people wash with a sponge. A car. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on. We asked 100 married men, how many times today did you tell your wife you loved her? You said? <laughs> None. Survey said? <laughs> My husband tells me 10 times, though. He tells me 10. I know he, he does. Me 10 times He's a today, good man. Least, the least. number one answer was one. Okay. Then I said, name something babies love to throw. You said? <laughs> the pacifier. Survey said? Oh. Number one answer okay. was toys, ball, oh. rattle. I said, name something you see at a rodeo. You need 36 points. You said? A bull. Survey said? <laughs> Number one answer was horse. You are four points away. I said, name something people eat at a barbecue. You said? Potato salad. Survey said. Oh my God! Get out of there! The number one answer was ribs. Come on, Salima. Come we need on. four points. <laughs> Name something people wash with a sponge. You said. A car. Survey said. Dishes was the number one answer. Well, that's a three-day total, $21,675. And they're coming back right here on The View. I'm Steve Harvey, everybody. We'll see you next time. It's time to play Family Feud. This is Joey Batone from Universal Atlanta Resort in sunny Florida. And now, here's the star of our show. Give it up for Steve <laughs> hey, hey, welcome to Family Feud, everybody. I'm Steve Harvey. We got the Abdul Rahman family playing against the George family. All of this for a chance to win a whole lot of cash and a brand new car right there. Uh -huh. So let's get it on. Give me Nanika, give me Rob. Let's go. Hey, folks, here we go. We got the top six answers are on the board. Name something women pump. Rob. 
breast pump. Yeah, just went right there, huh? Yeah, with your grandmother right behind you, just the answer you want to go with. Big Rob says the breast pump. Woo! We're gonna pass the play. What are we doing? What are we doing? We're gonna play, We're gonna play. Steve. Lori, how you doing? Oh, fine, fine. What do you do? Steve. I'm a mother and a grandmother and the wife of my husband of 50 years. 50? Wow. That's major. That's what I'm blessed. It don't get done like that too much nowadays. Right. My mom and dad were married for 64 years. Amen. Amen. Mm. 64. Yeah. Yeah. If mine lasts 64 years, I'll be 113. <laughs> Go for it. Go for it. Okay, uh, okay. so Lori, it's your turn. Name something women pump. Gas. Gas. Oh, Lori says gas. No strikes. What do you think? I'm going to say iron weights. They pump weights. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Brittany. Hi, how are you? How you doing? What do you do? I'm a CPA for Ernst & Young. Oh, that's good. Then name something women pump. I know this is sort of awkward, sort of Jersey Shore, but fish pump, that's the first thing that came to my mind. <laughs> <laughs> Me and your grandmother's oh, confused. Oh, okay. Because me and grandma was down here going, what is going to say? Fist pump. Yeah, I don't Fist know. pump. Oh. Getty, my man, how you doing? Fine, fine. You only got one strike, Getty. What do you think? Name something women pump. Uh, laundry detergent in a... I I've seen that. Laundry <laughs> detergent. <laughs> They're gonna pump the laundry detergent. <laughs> Two strikes, Rob. If it's there, you're still alive. If it's not there, the other oh. family is gonna steal. A bike tire. Bicycle pump. A bike tire. The bicycle tire. <laughs> oh, let's go. Name something women pump for the steel. I'm gonna say brakes. They <laughs> pump the brakes! <laughs> Number four. <laughs> Air mattress. <laughs> Number five. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Number six. <laughs> well, let's go to question two. Give me Amina, give me Lori, let's play. Ladies, we've got the top six answers on the board, okay? Name something which the more you have, the more trouble you're likely to get. Amina? Money. Money. <laughs> Pass or play? We're gonna play. They're gonna play, Lord. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Young Ali, how you doing? I'm doing good. Ali, name something which the more you have, the more trouble you're likely to get into. Uh, friends. 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 Woo! Yeah. Hey, Salima. Hi there. How you doing? I'm wonderful. Well, here we go, Salima. Name something which the more you have, the more trouble you're likely to get into. Time. The more time. Yeah, time. Yeah. Yeah. Yaya, what you say, my man? How you doing? Yaya, two-time cruiserweight champion of the world. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Stand over here and ask these questions. <laughs> Name something which the more you have, the more trouble you're likely to get into. Popularity. Popularity. Yeah, more fun. yeah that's true. Popularity. Oh. That's a true statement, though, I gotta tell you. Nanika, you only got one strike. Food. Food. <laughs> I mean, I, you knew that, didn't you? You know, I'm the, I'm the new host, so look, Nanika, what I don't do is, look, if I know it's not up there, <laughs> why do I have to turn and point? <laughs> you knew food wasn't up there. I felt your spirit. I said, well, 
I pointed, but I didn't want to turn. Because, you know, it's a lot of answers throughout the day. I don't just go, food, is it up there? And you can hear, well, it's not up there. And so, <laughs> okay. <laughs> we got two strikes, Amina. The George family get ready to steal. Name something which the more you have, the more trouble you're likely to get into. Children. Good answer! <laughs> Children! Okay. Well, yeah, here's your chance. Okay. Something right. which the more you have, the more trouble you're likely to get into, Big Rob. I would say property. Yes, property. Property yeah. houses. You have so much, it's like taxes, and you have to worry about all that yeah, nonsense. Yeah, 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 yeah. Steve, it's up there. Oh, sure it is. Yeah. It is. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at my face. <laughs> Property houses! <laughs> Number six. Yeah. Wow. Makes sense when you hear it, huh? Well, we got a close one. George Family 86. I'm your Robin Family 82. The goal is 300 points, so don't go away. We'll be right back. Uh huh. Find out what happened. Feud, everybody. We got a good one. The George family, 86. The Abdul Rahman's 82. Give me Ali. Give me Beth. Let's go. Well, the point values are doubled here, guys. We've got the top five answers are on the board. In which country are men the biggest playboys? Beth. United States of America. United States of America. Uh, no, so England. 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 Okay. Pass the play. We'd love to play. We'd love to play. Yeah, I'm a little confused. Rob, I walk by Rob. Rob said, I'm confused by this question. <laughs> yeah, me too. Well, I'm uh, not. I'm ready. You're ready? Yeah. Well, well, which country are men the biggest playboys? I want to say Australia. Australia. Oh, okay. Australia. Oh. Getty, wow. hey, you've been in the military. You've been traveling around. You've got to know this. France. France. Players over in France, baby. Well, Rob, you can stop the confusion now. <laughs> Let's go, man. Uh, which country are me and the biggest playboys? Let's just say it's next door neighbor, Spain. Spain. <laughs> this okay. is really a tough one. I don't know. You got two strikes. Well, what do you think it is? Italy. Oh. Italy. Okay. You play this game pretty uh, I'm, good. I'm Italian. You're Italian. Well, I'm Italian. Uh -huh. oh. Well. Oh. He got you, didn't gotcha. he? That's how he got you. <laughs> well, get it, a playboy. No, 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 no. I'm, 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 okay. oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was just throwing it out there. Okay. Just doing jokes. <laughs> I think a tip is don't make grandma angry. Yeah, I, I see that. I see that, Rob. Don't, don't tick off grandma. Okay, I'm just... Beth, you only got two strikes. Which country are men the biggest playboys? How about Brazil? Oh, yeah! yeah. yeah. Brazil! Yeah. That was a great answer, man. Well, George family, 268. I'm Bill Robbins, 82. But it's still anybody's game. Don't go away. We're right back. We're right back. Feud, everybody. We got the George family, 268. We got the Abdul Robbins, 82. Give me Salima, give me Brittany. Let's go. <laughs> Ladies, here we go. Point values are triple, so that means someone could win it this game right here. Here we go. We've got the top four answers are on the board. Give me a word that rhymes with spanky. Salima. Hanky. Hanky. We're 
Hold on a plate. Well, point values have tripled here, Yaya, so let's get to it. Give me a word that rhymes with spanky. Lanky. Lanky. Nanika, no strikes. Two answers left. Give me a word that rhymes with spanky. Uh, cranky. Cranky. <laughs> Amina, give me a word that rhymes with spanky. If it's there, you win. If it's not there, you're still alive. Blanky. Get it! Blanky. Oh, blanky. 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 <laughs> Ali, this is your chance to save the day for the family, but it's no pressure, it's just one strike. I'm gonna go with, um, say, Dranky? I don't know. Dranky? I don't, yeah. Good answer. Good answer! No, that's not a good answer. No, it's not. Lean over here. Tighten your tie up. I wanna choke you with this tie right now. All this money your mama and them spending on you to go to college, and you done set up in here and said, Dranky. Drinky! <laughs> That's a tough one, though, Ali. I have no idea what it is. Two strikes. Salima, if it's there, you win. If it's not there, the other team could steal and win. Give me a word that rhymes with spanky. Banky? Banky. <laughs> Banky for the win! <laughs> Rob, I don't know what to tell you. If it's there, you steal, you win. If it's not there, the Abdul Rahman family wins. Give me a word that rhymes with spanky. Panky. Panky. Puh. Panky. Puh. <laughs> Puh. I love this guy. <laughs> panky. Puh. Panky. <laughs> For the win. Panky. <laughs> I thought it was going to be spanky. I didn't know what it was. I, I never would have guessed that, though. Hey, I'm doing Robbins. I need two people to play Fast Money. Let's go. Oh, we got the ladies. We'll be back. We're going for the money right after this. 20 grand. To the feud, everybody. The Abdul Rahman family won the game, and it's time to play. Hey, before we start, here's someone who'd like to wish you luck. Hi, this is Karen. And Kevin. And Kai. And we're wishing the Abdul Rahman family all the luck in winning that $20,000. And remember, you win five games, you win the brand new car right there. Well, Amina, uh, Salima's off stage. She can't see or hear any of your answers. I'm going to ask you five questions in 20 seconds. Try to give me the most popular answer. If you can't think of something, just say pass. If we have enough time, we'll get back to it. And then if you and Salima together manage to pull this off and get 200 points, look right there and tell everybody what you're going to win. $20,000! That's how you want to say it, too. Top of your lungs. You want to just squeeze till something happens internally. $20,000! See, I don't care who you are, where you from. 20 grand, a lot of money. Okay, let's make it happen. You ready? Yes. We got 20 seconds on the clock, please. The clock will start after I read the first question. At what age do kids these days start using computers? 10. Name something people describe as being rotten. Fruit. Name a popular U.S. landmark. The Monument. Name something that can be cherry flavored. Candy. Name something people try to cover up. False. Mm -hmm. Let's go. All right, here we go. At what age do kids these days start using computers? You said 10. Survey said. Oh. That's OK. You have any kids? No. That's why you don't know that. <laughs> it's okay. 
Name something people describe as being rotten, you said? Fruit, survey said. Yeah. That's a good one, that's a good one. Name a popular U.S. landmark, you said? The monument, survey said. Okay. Then I said, name something that can be cherry flavored, you said? Candy, survey said. Yeah. Ain't bad. I said, name something people try to cover up, you said? They're faults, survey said. Aww. Well, we got some work to do. We'll get it done. Salima can play. Let's bring Salima out. Let's clear the board. Let's see if we can save this thing here. Come on, Salima. Okay, Salima, we got a little work to do. You need 148 points. Okay. But you could do it. <laughs> Your attitude is so good. She's... Okay. Okay, we'll discuss it with her later. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to ask you the same five questions. You cannot duplicate the answers. If you do, you're going to hear this sound. I'll say try again. You give me another answer, okay? Mm -hmm. It's going to be a little bit tougher this time, so we're going to give you 25 seconds. Okay. Okay? Yes. Are you ready? Yeah. All right, let's remind everyone of Amina's answer. 25 seconds on the clock, please. The clock is going to start after I read the first question. At what age do kids these days start using computers? Six. Name something people describe as being rotten. A child. Name a popular U.S. landmark. White House. Name something that can be cherry flavored. Lip balm. Name something people try to cover up. A lie. Okay. Let's go. I said, at what age do kids these days start using computers? You said? Six. Survey said. Uh huh. Number one answer was five. Name something people describe as being rotten. You said a child <laughs> having just had one. <laughs> Survey says. Spoiled, rotten. That's a good one, though. <laughs> number one answer was eggs. Eggs oh, was the number one answer. Name a popular U.S. landmark. You said <laughs> the White House. My family from D.C. Come I can understand it. that, but this might surprise you, though. Survey said. <laughs> Uh-huh. Statue of Liberty, number one answer. I said, name something that can be cherry-flavored. You said? That lip balm, cherry-flavored lip balm. You know, me and my fellas, we fight about that all the time. <laughs> Survey said... Oh. Number one answer was drinks. <laughs> drinks. And I said, name something people try to cover up. You said? <laughs> a lie. Yeah, I got something to do with your husband. <laughs> <laughs> no, the, the survey. The hundred so, Yeah, people. okay, oh well. Survey said... <laughs> ten. Number one answer was skin blemishes. <laughs> skin blemishes. <laughs> All right, next time, guys, let's go. Hey, that's $5 a point for a total of $520. For a four-day total, $22,195. And they're coming right back on Family Feud to face another family. I'm Steve Harvey. We'll see you next time, folks. To plan your next Orlando vacation, go to visitorlando.com. It's time to play Family Feud. This is Joey Patone from Universal Orlando Resort in sunny Florida. And now, here's the star of our show. Give it up for Steve Harvey. I'm Steve Harvey. It's the Abdul Rahman family <laughs> returning for their fifth and final day <laughs> with a total of $22,195. Playing against the Sox, Carter family. All of this for a chance to win a lot of cash and a brand new car right there. <laughs> give me Nanika, give me Mike, let's go. Folks, here we go. We've got the top six answers on the board. If men mark their territory like dogs, name something they put their scent on. Nanika. Their couch. Their couch. <laughs> the couch. Oh, that's awesome. Mike? I would have to say my lovely wife. They put their scent on the wife. Yeah, yeah baby. That's a play. Playing. <laughs> 
Good they're gonna play the music. Hey, Jillian, how you doing? What do you think it is? Maybe their car? <laughs> On the car! Good answer, good answer. Yes! Hey, Kate, if men mark the territory like dogs, name something they put their scent on. I think a boat. Good answer, Put it on the boat. Oh. 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 Tanya, if men mark the territory like dogs, name something they put their scent on. I'm going to say their food. Yeah. Good answer. Yeah. Put a scent mark on the food. Oh. Michael, how you doing, man? Wonderful. How are you? Oh, I see you, man. That's wild. What do you do? During the winter, I work at a ski mountain. I like to snowboard. But during the summer, I love to paintball. OK. Uh, well, that's good, Michael. Okay. Hey, if men mark the territory like dogs, name something they put their sin on. I would say the big screen TV. Hey, yeah. put it on the big screen TV. <laughs> good answer, man. Mike, we got two strikes. If it's there, you're still alive. If it's not there, the Abdul Robin family can get ready to steal. You got this. I would say their uh, their favorite tavern, tavern, pub, pub, bar. Pub. Okay, pub bar. Yeah. Their favorite pub or bar. Oh. Monika, here's your chance to steal. If men mark the territory like dogs, name something they put their scent on. They put their scent on their house. They yeah. put it on the house. <laughs> Number five. Yeah. Let's move on to question two. Give me Armina, give me Jillian. Let's go. Ladies, we've got the top seven answers on the board. Here we go. Name something people do sitting down. Aminia. Drive. They drive. Oh. Jillian. Go to the bathroom. They go to the bathroom. <laughs> I do. Yeah. I do too sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. They go to the bathroom. Play. Play, play, play. They're gonna play a few. Kate, what do you think it is? Name something people do sitting down. Eat. They eat sitting down. <laughs> Tanya, name something people do sitting down. When they're in class, when they're learning at school. When they're learning sitting at their desk. Yeah. Sitting yeah. at their desk. Yeah. Learning in school. <laughs> The snowboarder, only one strike. Name something people do sitting down. Well, I mean, being snowboarder, you sit down on the chairlift. Sit down on the chairlift. You can't really stand up on that. <laughs> people sit down on the chairlift. <laughs> well, it's, a, it's a true statement, what he made. Extremely. Pretty specific, though. Well. Somewhat. Got to be Somewhat. right there at yeah, the job. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, you got two strikes, Mike. You got to save the day here. I always watch TV. We watch TV sitting down, man. Yeah, buddy. Nice, Jillian, same deal. Two strikes. Keep it alive. If not, they still name something people do sitting down. A magic carpet ride? <laughs> Up there, I'll eat your time. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let me, tell, let me tell you what Mike said. Mike said, hey, good answer, good answer. He turned to me and said, if that's up there, I'll eat your tie. <laughs> <laughs> the magic carpet, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, God, if that's up there, meet your time. Here's your chance to steal. Name something people do sitting down. I get their hair done. Good yeah. They get their hair done sitting down. Uh, oh! oh Number three. Yeah. Read. Number four. Hi. Yeah. Number six. Oh, Fall asleep. Yeah. yeah. Number seven. 
Yep. We got a tight one. Abdul Rahman, 79. Sakota Family, 64. 300 points is the goal. Don't go away. We will be right back, folks. Hey, welcome back to Family Feud, everybody. The Abdul Rahman Family, 79. The Sakota Family, 64. Give me Ali, give me Kate, let's go. Folks, here we go. Point values are double going to be worth a little bit more here. Top five answers are on the board. Name something people think brings bad luck. Okay. Walking under a ladder. Why, walking under a ladder. <laughs> Ali? Stepping on cracks. Stepping on cracks. <laughs> okay, pass or play. Wait, 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 wait. They're going to play. We're going to play. Tanya, name something people think brings bad luck. A black cat crossing the A black cat crossing the <laughs> Michael, name something people think brings bad luck. Breaking a mirror. Breaking a mirror. <laughs> Mike, no strikes, you're rolling. Name something people think brings bad luck. Uh, when they find a coin on the ground, if, depending upon which way it is. Finding a yeah. coin on the ground. <laughs> Oh, oh, only right, one strike, right. Jillian. Throwing away a rabbit's foot? Throwing away a rabbit's foot. Oh. Oh. Okay. Kate, we got two strikes. If it's there, you're still alive. If not, the Abdul Rahman family gets a chance to steal. If you spill salt on the table? Oh. If you spill salt yeah. on the table. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Here's your chance. Nanika, name something people pole. think brings bad luck. Splitting a pole. Get yeah. it! Split it. Split it. Splitting the pole. <laughs> Thought that was a good one. Number four. <laughs> Number five. Wow, the Sykota family, 214, the Abdul Rahman, 79. But remember, if the Abdul Rahman family wins today, they walk away with a brand new car. We're coming back to find out what happens, so don't go away. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Family Feud, everybody. The Sykota family, 214, Abdul Rahman, 79. I want you to remember this, though. Today, if the Abdul Rahman family wins, they walk away with the brand new car. So let's get it on. Let's see what's happening. Give me Salima. Give me Tanya. Let's go. <laughs> Ladies, point values are tripled. That means someone could win it on this one right here. Top four answers are on the board. Name an activity that might cause someone's dentures to pop up. Salima. Eating. Eating. <laughs> They're going to play. Point values are triple, so let's get to it. Yeah, yeah. Name an activity that might cause someone's dentures to pop out. Brushing their teeth. Brushing yeah, yeah. their teeth. <laughs> this is the day. The this day? could do it. We could win the car today. Yes. <laughs> Who, who gets the car? Any talk about the car so far? We've talked about the car. Maybe Ali might get the car for college. Maybe Ali might get the car for college. <laughs> it's over my head, man. It's over my head. I don't know. It's 16. You don't get a car at 16 just because you're going to college. You don't, boy. Oh, man. <laughs> Listen to me. 3.8. He got a 3.8. Oh, okay, well then, to let him think of a way to get a car. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Nanika, only one strike. This is big for you guys. We got a car here. Name an activity that might cause someone's dentures to pop out. Laughing. <laughs> Laughing. Amina? That is correct. You only got one strike. Name an activity that might cause someone's dentures to pop out. 
talking. Good answer. Talking. Got two strikes. Hate to put this question on a 16-year-old kid. I really do, man. This cat is nowhere near thinking about dentures. <laughs> Ali, name an activity that might cause someone's dentures to pop out. Three seconds. Uh, I told the family, I know, I know, Mike. This is for it right here. This is, this is it. If it's there, you steal, you win. That's it. If it's That's not it. there, the other team, we go to sudden death. Name an activity that might cause someone's dentures to pop out. If you sneeze. Yes. If, for the win, if you sneeze. Wow. Wow. Number three. That's what I was thinking, yeah. Number four. Bobbing for apples. for apples. Well, believe it or not, I don't know how it happened, but we're going to sudden death. Give me Yaya, give me Michael, let's go. We have tripled the points, so whoever gets this one answer will win the game. Name an animal with long ears. Michael. An elephant. An elephant? Oh. Oh. Yes. An elephant? Oh. Rabbit. <laughs> For the win, a rabbit. Everybody, the Abdul Rahman family won the game, and it's time to play. Money. Hey, before we start, here's someone who'd like to wish you luck. Check this out. Hi, this is Karen. And Kevin. And Kai. And we're wishing the Abdul Rahman family all the luck in winning that twenty thousand dollars. You can do it. Monika's off stage, y'all. Y'all, she can't see or hear any of your answers. I'm going to ask you five questions in twenty seconds. Try to give me the most popular answer. If you can't think of something, just say pass, and we have enough time, we'll get back to it, okay? And then if you and Nanika put it together and come up with 200 points, tell everybody what you're going to win. $20,000! $20,000! And it's a howl. Put the, you have to put the howl on. Howl! Because that's what you'll do when you win 20 grand. Right. Boy, that'd be nice to go with this car, man. You can get some gas. 20 more. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, you ready? Yes, sir. 20 seconds on the clock, please. Clock is going to start after I read the first question. On a scale of 1 to 10, how respectful are most men towards women? Six. Name something you might eat more than one of at breakfast. Toast. Name any birthstone. Pass. Name something that comes after the word double. Tree. Name the most expensive thing in your home. Wedding ring. Name any birthstone. Jewel. <laughs> Come on, y'all. All right. I said on a scale of one to ten, how respectful are most men towards women? You said six. Survey said. Uh huh. I said name something you might eat more, more than one of at breakfast. You said more than one piece of toast. Survey said. Uh-huh. I said, name any birthstone. You said that, that very expansive jewel. <laughs> Survey said. I said, name something that comes after the word double. You said tree. You travel a lot. Survey said. I said, name the most expensive thing in your home. You said. 
The wedding ring survey said. <laughs> wow. All right, 36. That's going to be some work, man. Well, let's go. Let's bring out the and see if she can bring this thing home. You just want a car. Yes! That's a very positive thing. Now, you got a shot at 20,000. Yes. You win 20,000 right now <laughs> after the points Yaya just put up. <laughs> I got to tell you, uh, this could be the biggest comeback in the history of the game. <laughs> but I've watched you play. You can do it. Okay. You can do it. You don't need that much. Just give me your best answers. I'm going to ask you the same five questions. You cannot duplicate these answers. Trust me. <laughs> uh, if you do, you hear this sound. That would be a miracle. And I'm going to say, try again. You'll give me another answer. Okay. And it's going to be a little tougher this time, so we're going to give you 25 seconds. You ready? Okay, I'm ready. Okay, let's remind everyone of Yaya's answers. 25 seconds. Why y'all laughing? <laughs> 25 seconds on the clock, please. Clock is going to start after I read the first question. You can do this, Nico, okay? On a scale of 1 to 10, how respectful are most men towards women? 10. Name something you might eat more than one of at a breakfast. Uh, grapes. Name any birthstone. Emerald. Name something that comes after the word double. Trouble. Name the most expensive thing in your home. My TV. Play the game good, boy. I said, on a scale of one to ten, how respectful are most men towards women? You said ten. Great answer. Survey said. Number one answer was seven. Okay. Seven. Name something you eat more than one of at a breakfast. You said grapes. So, <laughs> survey said what's that one, that one grape sitting there. Number one answer was eggs. Okay. Name any birthstone, you said. <laughs> Emerald, survey said. <laughs> Number one answer was ruby. Okay. Name something that comes after the word double. You said. <laughs> Trouble. Trouble was the number one answer. Survey said. <laughs> I said, name the most expensive thing in your home. You said. <laughs> TV. TV was the number one answer. Survey said. 120. That's a total. That five-day total, $22,795. And they're taking home a brand new car. That's how you play the game. So we'll see you next time when we have two brand new families to play the family feud. I'm Steve Harvey, everybody. We'll see you next time. Man, that's